So at this point, we have established a connection to the robot with our tablet. And the next thing we need to do is start taking measurements, whether we're setting up the um, total station on a job site by shooting in control points or whether we've already done that and we want to measure some things. We've got two options. We've got the prism pole that we can use and we've got the lasers that we can turn on. So the first thing I want to talk about is the prism pole and how we make sure that the robot's seeing the prism so that it's got line of sight and it can take the measurements we need it to. So I'm still under the device and I'm still in settings and what I want to do is go to the prism button. And I've got a couple options here. I can go to the um, target type and I can change my prism to whatever style of prism that I'm using. Uh, if I need to change the height of rod uh, or the instrument, uh, excuse me, the prism ID number, I can go into the input form button, which allows me to change the from active to passive mode actives on passive is off for the MT 1000 and I can change my ID number um, from 1 through 8 which is um, determined by the dial on the MT 1000 so in this instance I've got a MT 1000 the prism is on it's on channel 1 and my rod height happens to be 6 feet okay now I can change all that information here I'm done changing it I'll click out of the input form button and so the next thing that I want to do is I want to point my robot in the general direction of the prism. Now the closer I get the better because when I perform a search it's going to do a search window window and the less window that has to look in the, the faster it's going to find that prism. So I've got my robot pointing in the general direction of the prism and I'm going to go ahead and this is my prism button here and this is my search for the prism button. So I'm going to search for the prism and what the robot is now doing is it's looking left, right, up and down in a specific search window trying to find that MT1000 that's on channel 1. And once it locks onto the target you'll notice that the prism button stopped spinning and now if I go and grab my prism pole and start moving it around um, you'll notice that my horizontal angle and vertical angle now have data being in, um, fed to them and that's a couple ways that I know that my um, prism is now being tracked by my robotic total station. So the next part of this is if I want to switch it over to laser mode and switching to laser mode is as simple as clicking the um, the, the prism button here and when I click it it will switch over to DR mode and once in DR mode um, of course you can't see it but now my laser has turned on and now if I move my robotic total station um, my dimensions or my directions here are going to update based on the point that the laser sees so now I could simply take a, a measurement um, with the prism or with the laser. Keep in mind if I switch back to prism mode then my prism icon is going to be spinning which means it doesn't see the rope excuse me it doesn't see the prism until I move that prism into the path of the robot or the robot does a search and locks onto the the prism. 